depth of insight with an entertaining style like Ian Percy. His ability to connect deeply and personally with any audience is truly remarkable. Most of our, our planning is what, economic or ecological? Talk to me. It's economic. You were taught in Management 101, your goals have got to be desirable, attainable, measurable. Right? And if we can't measure it, we can't manage it. I'm here to announce to you, that's a lie. <laughs> oh, I'm not against measuring things, but folks, the most important things in your life are not measurable. I know people, mostly of the male persuasion, I'm embarrassed to say, who if somebody at home says, how much do you love me? I would say 7.2. <laughs> Wonder why you're upset. It's up a point from last month. <laughs> now, guys, guys, write this down. All right, write this down. If somebody at home says, how much do you love me? The answer is this much. <laughs> how many stars are there? Write that down. Because <laughs> it's an ecological question. You put out annual reports. I get annual reports all the time. Who writes this stuff? Oh, you do. Sorry. <laughs> I can't read the little tiny numbers, right? I want to see a report one day that's, that's more ecological because they're also economic, and rightly so. We understand that. But wouldn't it be nice to have the front page, we'd like to report a greater depth of love and understanding among our people. Okay? <laughs> a little picture of the executive team having a group hug. <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? Okay? Everything, folks, is a blend of these two things. Now, here's a question for you. What do you think your clients and your customers want from you? Do you think they hire you only for the economy? Or might there be a little bit of the ecology? Here's what I want to warn you about. If all you think of is the economy in your relationships, folks, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. Because in this day and age, people want the ecology. They want something deeper. They don't have language for it, which is why they keep asking for things on an economic level. And we think we believe them, you see, because we're not listening with our hearts and our souls. They're asking for something far deeper. Do they need the economy? Yes, they need an economic advantage by working with you. But what will hold you together, folks, is not just that. Where is the ecology in the relationship? Whether speaking in Rome or in Reno, to scientists or salespeople, Ian takes his audiences to a deeper and better place of fulfillment and success. He will help make your event truly memorable and productive. A registered organizational psychologist, Ian has written many highly influential books and is a regular performance improvement columnist for Human Capital Magazine, read by over 40,000 HR executives around the world. Ian was honored as one of the top 21 speakers for the 21st century by the influential Successful Meetings magazine and is one of only three speakers worldwide to be inducted into both the U.S. and Canadian Speaker Halls of Fame. It's a restlessness in your soul that just something is wrong. I'm not in the right place. I'm not doing the right thing. This is a person who drives into work saying to themselves, why am I doing this? I was always taught that this irritation, this restlessness, this anger meant that something was wrong with you and you should probably get it fixed. You should try to avoid that, those kind of feelings. May I suggest another view? May I suggest to you that the restlessness we feel in our souls is a divine source of energy. It's your destiny calling you. It's your destiny calling you. What angers you about the world? What frustrates you about the world just might be your purpose saying, where are you? Why aren't you fixing this? May I suggest that you not run away from what irritates you. May I suggest that you run toward it. Because hidden in that irritation is your purpose.